is gonna take a long time, Kenny, a really long time. And I mean, I might be 80 years old before I finally become a lawyer. And even then, I, I still don't know if I'm gonna find the answers. But you just have to promise me. You just have to. Because you won't ever try to kill yourself ever again. One of the things that I loved about it was that you guys don't smooth the rough edges off these characters. You didn't make them perfect and saintly all the way through. You show that there was a toll that this took on family and on just the lives that, you know, the plans that you had made. Um, can you talk about uh, the research you did involving the real people and how you prepared to play them? Sure. Um, first of all, um, you know, no one, there's no human being that is perfect. What you see on the screen is, is a, a lot of the stories that Betty Ann shared with us. I mean, it's all true. And there were even more interesting stories to, to be able to, to add to it. Unfortunately, we couldn't get it all in there. but. Um, you know, I found the, that, and you can speak more about this, but the, but Kenny um, was, you know, he was, he was the, 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 the life of the party. He was the, the kid that was getting in trouble because he just wanted to have fun. Yeah. No, I have a friend of mine uh, who, who was like this guy. And he's, in, he's in prison. And um, he was a lot like Kenny, you know, mischievous, but very charming. A lot of fun to be around, you know, actually. And he just, you know, but get a little booze in him and, Something happens and he gets his feathers ruffled, and you never know. But uh... and Betty Anna was always saying that he he <clears throat> was always the life of the party. He was so fun to be around, you know. But he did have a temper. Put down the chainsaw. I tell you what, Buttercup. Why don't you go give out some pocket tickets and then come back when I'm done? How's that? Put down the chainsaw now. It's amazing how in every role, you find your little moments where you can move where you can dance you have this yeah. great way of expressing yourself yeah. you're one of the only actors i know that can dance with malice or you can dance with joy or you can i mean you can express so much yeah. just very simply and i love the scene in this movie because it's him trying to diffuse himself you can see that he yes. knows he went too far well, unlike some more arbitrary dances i've done in films this is actually has a purpose in the in the story <laughs> that's fun it's fun to move you know it's it's part of the, it's part, it's part, it's another way to express yourself. And, and you That's know, what I love is you do, you express so clearly. Thank you. And Thank I was you. about to say that, that I think it's a big difference between a theater actor and, you know, a, like a trained movie actor. Because uh, with film, you know, so much of it's here. Mm -hmm. And it's all, you know, in your face and your expression and your emotions. Yet, I think a lot of film actors forget that your body is an extension of that. Yeah. And, you know, and that's, he does that so well. 